Well, I just finished um, the illumination by Kevin Brockmeyer, and uh, it, it it's the story of uh, what happens one day when out of the blue, everyone who has a physical injury gets illuminated by light. And so it's everyone, and it goes on and on across the world. And uh, people get used to it after a while, walking down the street and seeing somebody who might have leukemia, and they're all aglow, or they have arthritis, and this part's glowing, and their hands or a headache that flashes across your head. Uh, so this story follows about six different people, a vagrant, an author, uh, a man who lost his wife in an accident, the woman um, who was in the hospital room with the wife before she died. Um, it follows them, and they're all tied together with a book of that the wife who died kept because every day her husband would tell her how much he loved her in a different way. And this book, uh, I don't know, to all of the people, kind of meant something different, but to all of them it meant, you know, the value of love. So my response to the book was, at first, to be a little bit taken aback by everybody glowing. And I read almost completely through that book kind of wondering about that, and involved in these vignettes, almost short stories of characters. But I wasn't, you know, oh, you know, I wasn't super involved in the book, having to read it every second. And then I read a, a review of the book. It was in a salon dot com, and it's called The Illumination, The Problem of Pain at What to Read Salon dot com. It's written by Laura Miller. And when I read that, it made me think differently. Uh, she talked about how the book is really about pain and grieving at its essence. And, and oddly enough, it's not a sad book because it's about people, all, everyone feels pain. And this book, you know, the light only illuminates the physical pain, but if it illuminated, was able to illuminate mental anguish, well, everyone would just walk around glowing. She didn't say that, but, you know, that's the way it would be. And this book is about how everyone has pain, from the vagrant to everyone. And there's no getting around it. So because of the review, really, you know, it's, I started thinking about what would happen if we had factually were illuminated. And it got me to thinking then about how with pain, um, well, the, the first chapter of every book, of every vignette, is uh, introduced by a quote about the necessity of having pain in your life, how it defines you as human. And oddly enough, I thought about all the pain, you know, that I carry, about the mistakes I m made, and how they are in the past. And really what matters now is what I do with it. Just like the characters in the book, nobody did anything super heroic with the pain they had, but they did attempt to move on in their lives. And then it made me think about my sister, who, you know, died of... Um, really the medicine from treating lupus. Her, her bones became so weak and blood so thin. And, and how the week before her death, how her pain, uh, her disease, occupied every exist piece of existence of their day. And the week before she died, she told me and other, some other people around that she was going to go to Walmart to be a greeter, because by then she'd lost both her legs to lupus. And uh, she was going to show them show everyone just what a person with disabilities could do. And then a week later, she died. <laughs> well, that, to me, that was a very heroic, and that was my sister, a real fighter. 
And then there was my mother-in-law, and how lucky she would have been had that occurrence happened, had everyone with physical pain been illuminated because she had fibromyalgia at a time when no one knew what it was. So she spent most of the time I knew her being accused of being a hypochondriac, and to talk to her, you know, that was the feeling you'd get because she was in pain, and, uh, and she was scared, and no one could identify what it was, so she talked about it all the time. But in fact, she now she had a disease that now people identify and you have support groups for and diets for and so if she'd been illuminated, <laughs> how helpful that would have been. So that's me and that's this what I got out of this book called the illumination, but I did need that review. A lot of other reviews were there, too. A lot of them in the same boat I was, like, that this, having everybody lit up from the inside is kind of a device in that book, but uh, helping Laura, reading Laura Miller's review of it, she really liked it. Made me think harder. <laughs>